freezing cold it's five degrees um, only a few days ago it was 20 degrees when I was in ha the Halkidiki area and then it rained a lot so for two days I just spent time in the van and kind of drove north and I'm starting to feel a bit cabin feverish and I need to get out so um, today I'm uh, gonna visit the Alistrati caves which aren't really out it's gonna be indoors but that's fine because it's gonna rain um, and they're supposed to be some of the biggest and most beautiful caves in Europe oh, where does the day go? What's gonna happen tomorrow? Oh, why are you hiding? Oh, why am I fighting you this Let me tell you, Greek is not an easy language to learn, especially the pronunciation I really struggle with. Luckily, I have the Rosetta Stone app installed on my phone and I use it every single day. The Rosetta Stone app allows you to learn a new language intuitively without translations. The lessons are bite-sized and cover areas like vocabulary, grammar, listening and pronunciation. A clever speech recognition technology guides you until you feel confident speaking on your own. And believe me, that's an area where I need all the help. Aftos e hiena esitirio. I cannot tell you how satisfying it is to say something in the local language and actually being understood. You feel like you're on top of the world. Rosetta Stone offers a lifetime subscription where you can access all of the language courses for life, so you can jump from learning French to Arabic or even Vietnamese. The lifetime subscription is for 349 euros, but with my 50% off you can get it for only 174 euros and 50 cents. If for any reason you're not fully satisfied with the app, Rosetta Stone offers a 30 day money back guarantee. They say that the best thing you can invest in is yourself, so start learning a new language today by clicking the link in the description bar. That was so worth it. The ticket was eight euros and you get a guided tour and it was just me and uh, another couple, another Greek couple. There's supposed to be a canyon just down here so I'm gonna go and see if I can find the start of the hike to get there. For the young to have their say By the time that we think to run It's too late and a body's crumbled Just like quiet buildings at the dusk In my mind there's a place Queen and sugar like an easy day So sorry that I left you out I didn't think that you could last you living I actually booked myself a room for tonight because I normally when I was in the van, I had like my system for showering, but for this van, I don't have a system yet because I knew that I was traveling in winter. So I was just like, ah, I'm gonna, you know, get something for, for summer instead. And I was just thinking of relying on swimming pools, which is what I've done anywhere that I visited a cold place. There are no swimming pools. There really isn't any other than in Thessaloniki. I didn't find any at all. So I need to get a shower and, um, I need to do a washing machine, I need to fill in my tanks, um, recharge my battery, my Bluetooth battery and also upload some videos. So I just thought, well, instead of doing, I could do all of those things without having to book a room, but it's just going to make it easier and it's quite cheap, it was 35 euros. morning everyone I actually stayed a few days at that flat that I had booked because it kept raining and raining and raining and I did a washing machine and it wasn't dry so I booked another day because having wet stuff in the van they would never ever dry anyway um, the town that I'm staying close to it's called cold, cold drama I actually ended up going to four mechanics on the time that I was here and uh, because the engine light came up on the van a few days ago and then it went off and then it went on again and so I just wanted to make sure that it was nothing major I knew that it probably was a sensor or something but you know better safe than sorry but the first three mechanics that I went um, their code reader didn't read the Piaggio because they don't have Piaggios here and then the fourth one 
was able to help me which was nice and he did say there was nothing major and I could just keep going so that's what we're gonna do and um, I think I'm gonna go and grab a coffee in Drama and there's supposed to be a nice parking uh, a nice park as well a big municipal park so that's what we're gonna go and see and hopefully it's not gonna rain too 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 much because we don't want to get wet I'm nice and dry and clean Drama is known for its cute cafes and for its beautiful lush park, Agia Vervara. It was pretty rainy when I visited, but I could imagine how the park looked in full bloom. As in many Greek cities, there were many stray cats and dogs, but in all fairness, they all seemed to be well taken care of. I've always wanted to visit Bulgaria and we are only an hour if not less away from the border so we're gonna go over there probably not gonna stay very long because it's colder and uh, I think there's gonna be snow so I'm not sure what the state of the roads are but even if we stay two days I'm gonna be happy and I stopped at Lidl and I got lots of sparacopitas because I found this pastry it doesn't have any cheese or eggs in it so I got like four days worth of sparacopita we are in Bulgaria and I didn't realize that you need to have a vignette, vignette. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. You can do it online and it's only 8 euros for a week, so not too bad. was 15 euros less than in Greece. That's how we like it. It was minus six last night and I was worried I would be cold in then. Because I'm not really prepared for winter, I thought I would be going something <laughs> somewhere warmer. But actually, it was so toasty. I slept so well. I'm actually in Bansko, um, which, if you don't know, it's a popular skiing destination, and it's snowing right now. And it's not that I wanted to come to Bansko; it's just that the road to get to where I want to go crossed through Bansko, so I thought I would stop. I'm gonna go and grab a coffee. Bansko is a town at the foot of the Pyrin Mountains in southwest Bulgaria. In winter, it has a typical feel of a ski resort. Lots of eager skiers in moon boots and souvenir shops. The old town though was beautiful, with its cobbled streets and traditional stone buildings. Gave me ideas for my own house in the mountains. Next, I drove north towards my destination in the Rala Mountains. On my way, I stopped in Blagovgrad and took a stroll in Varosha, the old town. I stumbled upon a beautiful church called the Presentation of the Blessed Virgin Church. Yes, that's its real name. <laughs> I'm 
I'm just outside the Raila Monastery, which is a UNESCO heritage site in uh, Bulgaria. And it's definitely more north than I was planning to go. But when I saw the pictures, I thought, I have to go and see it. The Raila Monastery was founded in the 10th century and is the largest Orthodox monastery in Bulgaria. 60 monks live in the monastery, although I haven't seen any. I guess they learn to hide very well from tourists. You can actually stay overnight at the monastery for about 20 lives or 10 euros. I only found out about this when I was on my way back, otherwise I would have definitely took advantage of it. Don't forget to check the donut stand just outside the monastery. It was closed when I was there, but I heard they are delicious. Well, it was definitely worth it, but I think it's time to go south because it's freezing. today we have a sandwich with some hummus curry and some out-of-date um, olive <laughs> veggie slices. I would absolutely love to try Bulgarian food but I don't think there's anything that I would be able to eat. I had a look to a few menus of restaurants around and they were all very meat and cheese heavy. that there's a really cute picturesque um, village not too far from here um, so I think that's where I'm gonna be heading now um, thank you so much for watching and don't forget that you can check the Rosetta Stone app by clicking in the description bar for a really nice discount and I will see you soon bye